every drop of glamour on Broadway, there's a pool of tears. For every star, a thousand broken hearts. How do I know? I'm a theatrical agent and my boss is a woman, Paula Brand. Everything I know about this business, I learned from her. She's quite a woman. She's quite a woman, all right. Ask the husband who has one. She's what I call a creative audience. And to me, that's someone who can understand and appreciate a good book, play, actor, or person. She's a creative wife, too. When she's through being an agent for 10% every day, she comes home, and then she's a 100% wife. Oh, Ms. Brand, you'll read it. No kidding. I kid you not. Oh, you're a real doll, you know that? <laughs> Mrs. Brand, I got a new idea for a story that will knock you out. This is one novel that's written with an idea on the movies, you know. You know what I mean. Well, most of them are, Henry. That's chiefly what's wrong with them. This is my husband, David Brand. He'll, he'll keep you company while I look in on young Alexander. Oh, Mrs. Brand. He's in 22. His old man threw his weight around, wanted him in a private dressing room. Brand, the playwright. Well, sir, I don't generally kick my ideas around, you know, but you being a writer and all that, let me give you a rough idea of the I, uh, I always find it's best not to talk it out. Is that so? Now, with me, it's different. I like to kick it around. Anyway. Is it as bad as all that? Easy, baby, easy. I'm gonna let you down, Paul. I... I can't go on. Oh, nonsense. You were great at dress rehearsal. You'll be great tonight. Paula, I don't remember my lines. It... It's... It, it, it's like they were gone. It's like they were just erased. My father's out front. The great Barclay Alexander. He put an understudy on tonight in his own play so that he could sit out front and watch me and mine. So that he could watch me single-handedly tear up what our name stands for in the theater. Get into it, Clay. Paula, you don't understand. I'm not Joe Blow on stage. I'm a theater. I'm tradition. You're just another kid with opening night jitters. Except you happen to have a very beautiful talent, which is why I'm handling you. I don't play it the way he does, Paula. I don't have his flair and... Just between you and me, Clay, I think your father's a terrible ham. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you honestly? <laughs> I guess I was pretty much of a ham just now myself. <laughs> well, we, we can't deny that you've been taught by a master. Powder your nose. Oh, there she is, there she is. Mrs. Show Business. Ah, you beautiful, beautiful woman. Uh, how is my uh, offspring? Barclay, please don't visit him before the show. Not visit him. <laughs> Not be with him when I could give him the courage that he is going to need tonight. Not be there in his hour of need when I could give him a shoulder, a strong hand to guide him. A heart. Conserve your strength, darling. Oh, don't worry. I don't want him upset, Barclay. His mother and I came to offer him a moral support. This is his mother? Well, not exactly. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I should say his new mother. 
we were married last week. Mm. Well, I must run. I want to talk to the boy before Curtin. I loved seeing you, and I love what you've done for my boy. Believe me. Oh, Barclay, please don't upset him. I don't have to tell you how... Paula, Paula, you say this to me, his father? Ah, oh, my boy, my son, my life, my joy, my... My fool! My all the world! My something, something, and my sorrow's cure! Shakespeare, King John! And this girl, a real beauty, if you know what I mean, gets TB. Bad. Right here, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. And then there's another wonderful scene. It's in a hospital, and there's snow outside the window, and the doctors are running around, and if you know what I mean, how could you do that to me? Well, I had to, you know. You know what I mean. I searched the garden thoroughly, but I couldn't find a trace. Better get out there, Clay. You're on in a minute. Yeah, okay. Do the drive, son. The power. Speak with conviction, with authority. Okay, mm. Dad, yeah. Remember, it's my name you're taking out there. Don't you Mine forget too. it. Mine too, don't okay, forget. <laughs> I'm sure it will turn up. I tell you, it will turn up. I searched the garden carefully and I couldn't find a trace. I searched... Did you find anything? I... I searched the garden... carefully and I didn't find a trace. What shall I do now? Cigarette? The nearest bar, if you love me. You don't have to stick it out. I don't think it's particularly good, but it'll undoubtedly be a hit. Was he as horrible as I think? Every bit. If you want to leave, it's all right with me. Come and meet the producer. We'll make some appropriate comments. Richard. Richard. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's you, Paula. Well, I'm sorry if I startled you, darling. Richard, this is my husband, David Brand. Uh, is it a hit? Oh, I'm sure. Don't you worry about it. Uh, what do they say? Well, they seem to like it. Good, good. Uh, that boy of yours, Paula, I want him out. Oh, now, Richard, you're, you're upset. You simply don't mean... No, 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 Paula, no hard feelings, but he gave me a terrible, terrible moment, oh, and that's it. But it's such a little part, darling. That's it, it, that's it. I'm trying to remain calm. Well, we'll discuss it tomorrow. Out. Out! Oh, uh, you mustn't cross me tonight, Paula. Really, you mustn't. But he's out. That's it. That's it. 